Are you trying to decide if an X-Tool F1 laser is for you? Let's just talk about it. I'm Kendra of Kendra Scott Wood, and I've been using this laser for almost a year now. So I thought this would be a great time for me to give you a whole rundown on it and share some of my overall thoughts. I will share some of the projects that I've made with you, and I will tell you why this laser might be for you, but I'll also give you some reasons why it might not be. The whole purpose of this video is to just make sure that you know what you are getting when you invest in this laser. I want to make sure you know exactly what to expect. If you do find this helpful and decide to purchase, I would love if you shop the links in the description. I do have the opportunity to earn from those. And if you purchase from their website and use my link, it actually gives you a special discount. I will also leave my Amazon link as well because I've noticed the prices do tend to fluctuate. So I would be sure to check out both. Now let's just get to talking about this. When I first got this, I was familiar with my CO2 laser and the program to run that, but I did not know much about the X2 lasers or their program. Upon getting this out of the box, my initial thoughts were just how easy it was to use. You really don't have to do anything other than plug it in and take the lens cap off and focus. Focusing is super easy. You just turn this little knob here and the lights at the bottom will overlap and you know it's in focus. Because I did have a laser already, I was really interested in trying this out on the various metals. Since you can't engrave metals on a CO2 laser, I was really looking forward to that. It works really well on stainless steel. You do need to play around with the settings a bit, but Xtool does provide a list of what they recommend, and that's at least a really nice starting point. They also give you a little kit full of materials that you can use to try it out. One thing I will say is with the metals, it does engrave a little bit slow if you want a nice dark engrave. It doesn't engrave super deep, so if you're looking for that, you would probably want to look at their newer deluxe model, which I definitely want to check out myself. For example, some of my really detailed designs will take about 20 minutes, but a photo will usually take around 10. Speaking of photos, I really like the laser for that in particular. It is great for gifts. I've made some gifts for my family members and they really seem to love them. It's also just really fun to play around with for photos and their program makes it really easy. There's a lot of resources out there as far as settings and materials and things like that. I see a lot of people doing some really cool images on these business cards here. This is one of the first ones I ever did and you can see that that image looks pretty awesome considering at the time I didn't even really know what I was doing. Doing. One thing I will say is I would recommend getting the air purifier with this machine. You can use it without it, but personally, I find that it makes a big difference when it comes to the smell, especially with the metals and things like that. Some of the materials can put off a pretty bad odor, and I can't imagine that's got to be very good to be breathing in. As far as accessories go, the only other one I have is the rotary for tumblers. I've used it a handful of times. It's pretty easy to use as well, and I was pleased with the overall results. I was also impressed with the speed at which it engraved a tumbler. I don't really do in-person markets anymore, but I do think this would be great for that. Like I said, sometimes the engraving on the metals can be a bit slow, but if you are doing small jewelry items or just adding personalization, you could do that really quickly. The blue light laser on this is really fast too, so you could engrave things like wood and leather on the spot really quickly. It would be awesome for personalizing Christmas ornaments or smaller items, and I think it would be a really big hit. You would definitely want the air purifier if you are taking it places because you do not want to be stinking people out. One of the last things that I just want to mention that makes this laser really cool is being able to take the bottom plate out. So if you have some larger items to engrave on, it is great for that. I know a lot of woodworkers use this laser specifically for that. It's an affordable laser that you can engrave anything from tables to cutting boards. It's pretty fast for that type of engrave too. And personally, I think you should always invest in your brand. You can cut with this, but I don't personally ever really use it for that. It is a bit slow for cutting. I will show you an example. I actually ended up speeding this video up quite a bit because the cut took about two whole minutes. If you're looking for a laser that you plan to do a lot of cutting on, I would say that this is not it. If you're looking to do mostly engraves in the occasional cut, then I would say it's worth it. It also cannot cut transparent acrylic. No diode laser can. So if you're comparing X-Tool laser models and plan to cut transparent acrylic, the one that you should be looking at would be their CO2 laser. Before I wrap this up, I'll give you a few things personally I like about this. 
One thing I love that I haven't mentioned is the wireless option. I can actually run this via Wi-Fi and my other laser via USB at the same time, and it saves me a ton of time, especially around the holidays when I'm working on multiple things at once. I also like that it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a great little desktop laser. I actually thought about moving this for the purposes of this video, but this is where I usually keep it, and I wanted you to be able to see that. It's great over here in this corner. And then I already mentioned the other things that I like, which are the medals and of course the photographs. It's just so much fun being able to make little unique gifts. So let me just recap and summarize. I would say this laser is for you if you are looking for a small laser engraver that is easy to learn on, if you are wanting to do mainly engraves and not a ton of cutting, if you want something that's easy to move around in your workshop or even take places, especially for taking it to the markets. I know people have great success for that. I think it's a great option for engraving photos in particular, which I've already told you, and I think it's great for your own branding. I do not think this laser is for you if you want to do a lot of cutting or if you want to be cutting transparent acrylic. And keep in mind, for certain things, it is a bit slow, but that's something that you can adjust by dialing in your settings as well. Well, I think that that about sums it up. Again, if you decide to purchase this, I would love if you would use my links below. With those, I am able to keep making videos like this. As always, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you found this helpful and I will see you next time.